Another thing you mentioned is the photos, and photos are, are always such a touchy subject because I know you guys, or, or, I can't remember if it was Peter Alex, we need more WWE photos, right? And I had a bunch that were like taken by private photographers or people that sent fans or whatever, but to get the actual WWE pictures is always hard. And to me, I was like, I don't think we need more WWE. What I liked, and I, another book that I took a lot of inspiration from was Metallica did a Master of Puppets hardcover book in 2016 for the 30th anniversary of that record. It's the older photos that I always really like to see because we see them all now. But looking back, I really like the idea of putting as many of these pictures, like keep in mind, the first five, six years of my career, you actually had a camera. And you, you, if it's the winding one, like that's how you took pictures. There was no phone. So I had boxes of actual photo prints and I could use as many of those as I want. I might not be able to get, you know, the, 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 the WWE copywritten ones, but these ones I can use as many as I want to. So I think overall it kind of worked out with the distribution of, of the eras of the photos. Yep. Let me fall on the sword here. This is the first time you're going to know of this, Chris and Pete. I do know there's one error in the book and I messed uh -oh. up the name. For some reason, Ricky Havlick is referred to as Ricky Harvick in the book. And I'm trying to figure out if I was thinking of Kevin Harvick, the NASCAR racer, or why this is. But we will sign a book Who's for Ricky him. Who's Ricky Havlick? Ricky Havlick is from Pro Wrestling Illustrated, I believe. Oh, and Ricky gotcha. is, That was one of the people that we were able to contact. George Napolitano stepped up in a big-time way, contributed did, a number right. of photographs. Blackjack Brown contributed photographs. We, you know, people that, that you've helped along the way with interviews or, or access, you, you know, they came back. For you. Yeah. So for those eras, you know, and, and we didn't need a ton, but we were able to get contributions. So they, there are well-represented WWE yeah. photos. It's not like we don't have photos. We got some great but, ones. Yeah. yeah. No, but we just weren't going to go and, and beg, you know, Vince for, for photos. That's just not something. Yeah, that, I, 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 first, I'm not exactly in uh, Vince's Christmas list. And to be <laughs> honest with you, <laughs> to be honest with you, if I caught him on the right moment, he'd probably let me. But I didn't want to go that route. Like, I didn't want this, like you mentioned. Not that I have anything against it. This is my project. I'm publishing it myself with, with Pete and Alex. Let's keep it as in-house as possible. And like I said, I like the idea of asking people uh, in uh, for favors that are, like you said, a George Napoletano has been a photographer for years. He's not a WWE photographer. He's an independent photographer who took millions of photos in New York. And we were able to get pictures with everybody. There's pictures with The Rock. Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, you name it. Anybody that we wanted, we found it. And of course, we had the whole AEW library, which was great, and then all my Japanese stuff. But Cena, like the ones that we needed pictures with of those type of big WWE names, we found. And they're ones that you won't see anywhere else because I had them in this box. There's one of me putting Cena's face into the cage at Madison Square Garden. I don't know where, we, where I got that one from. I didn't even know I had it. But to find it, it's like, holy smokes, this is going to be perfect. The other key thing about the photos for me, guys, is that the photo, the photos that we didn't get, quote unquote, didn't get, they're out there. Everybody's seen them. They're yes. everywhere. Yes. Whereas That's when you're point. looking you're looking through this book, in those chapters, you, you they're represented with shots nobody's seen. And then throughout the book, there's all this other stuff people haven't seen. So, it, I mean, to, to me, it, it came together ex exactly um, of a piece. He, he didn't, want it, yeah. it would have made a perfectly, that would have been a perfectly sensible, purely editorial decision as well. It's funny, uh, just as a quick segue, I posted a, a bunch of pictures on Instagram on the 22nd when the book came out. And one of them is a picture of me and Eddie. And the, the caption says, uh, Eddie raises my hand in victory. I'm not sure when this was, but it's a great picture. It brings a smile on my face. But, I, but it says, I'm not sure when this was, was, right? And I'm like, I don't know how that one slipped through the cracks, but lo and behold, I post that. And the first comment on Instagram is like, there's a typo there, was, was. I'm like, ha, A, how did you see that in 10 pictures and it's this big? And B, how did that get through? Of all the things, that's the first thing you, you say. We'll Fans fix all really the great. mistakes. So they're, they're, the way these books are flying off the shelves. That's right. We will fix them in the second edition. And that is a good note to throw out there to, to fans too. It's uh, because pandemic related and because of the production values associated with the book, it's going to be hard. There may be a time when these are out of stock for for a minute. So order right. Right, order right. early and often. Can. But I will talk to them. I think we're doing well enough that I'm going to go ahead and, and fix 
all the uh, all the things that need fixing. If you're a fan out there, just holler at me directly at Looms Boldly on Twitter. We'll get this thing uh, absolutely perfect for for edition number two.